Mr. Speaker, the Congressional Quarterly today has a headline that says, Some House Republicans Showing Signs of War Fatigue. Unfortunately, this headline comes just the day after the Appropriations Defense Subcommittee has approved another $119 billion for our overseas wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya, $10 billion a month, $2 billion, $300 million each week. By the most conservative estimates, we have now spent over $2 trillion in direct and indirect costs in Iraq and Afghanistan. Most of this money has gone into nation building rather than stopping or defending against any real threat. We have turned the Department of Defense into the Department of Foreign Aid, and the American people are tired of it. They want us to stop rebuilding Iraq and Afghanistan and start taking care of our own people. We are spending billions and billions that we do not have, that we are having to borrow on people who do not appreciate it unless they are on our payroll. Alfred Regnery, publisher of the conservative American Spectator magazine, wrote last October that, quote, Afghanistan has little strategic value and, quote, the war is one of choice rather than necessity. He added that, is, that it has been, quote, a wasteful and frustrating decade. The American people do not want, nor can we afford, endless permanent wars. Nor do they want 11 or 12 year wars that last about three times as long as World War II. You can never satisfy government's appetite for money or land. They always want more. Every gigantic bureaucracy always wants to expand its mission so it can get more funding. Every government agency always exaggerates the threats or problems it is confronting so it can get more money. The Pentagon is a gigantic bureaucracy that will do everything within its tremendous power to keep getting more and more money from the taxpayers. But there have to be limits somewhere. And fiscal conservatives should be the ones most horrified by all the hundreds of billions we have poured and continue to pour down these Iraqi, Afghan, and Libyan rat holes. The American people and conservative Republicans all over the country, all over this country, are saying enough is enough. They want us to stop rebuilding Iraq and Afghanistan and paying for a useless war in Libya and start rebuilding the United States of America. We are almost $14 trillion in debt and headed much, much higher very, very soon. Soon will we be printing so much money that our Social Security and other pensions will be, be, be worth very little. We have got to get our fiscal house in order. We have got to stop spending hundreds of billions all over the world and start taking care of our own people. George Ann Geyer, the conservative foreign policy columnist, wrote a few months after the Iraqi war started many years ago that, quote, Americans will inevitably come to a point where they have to choose between a government that provides services at home or one that seeks empire across the globe. Mr. Speaker, the American people reached that point a long time ago. Hopefully the Congress will soon follow their lead.